It's hard to describe to anyone what it's like. It's actually hard to describe Beechwood in a, in a short sentence. I can't really describe it to you. Um, I think... Um, um, well, it's a unique uh, experience. It looks different. It feels different. You know, you're about to be really wowed. You're going to be oppressed. You have to come and experience it. You just want to be there. Oh, I would highly recommend coming to Beechwood. Yeah, I remember the first time I, I went to a salon at Beechwood Arts, and the, the first thing I was struck by just was the setting, the, 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 the property itself. You can't actually drive into the driveway without being inspired. Janine and Frederick set a really great vibe. Um, it's laid back and curious at the same time um, and inviting. It's, it's um, I think people get a perspective that the salon is something that is exclusive. And in fact, at Beechwood, it's inclusive. There's a sense of community and a belonging there. Uh, it's almost like family. We came across this 1806 house completely by accident. But when we saw it, immediately we said, this is a very special place. And when we went outside and saw this unusual copper beech tree with a network of roots that had been pushing into the ground for 300 years, and yet was completely vibrant with new branches and new leaves shooting out. And we said, this is a great model for artistic creativity in the 21st century. We had understood from the work that we had been doing that collaboration is the way of the future and we wanted to create a space for that. We wanted to invite creators of all genres and generations and, and backgrounds to come to the space and collaborate and share ideas and explore and experiment and be inspired to create something new that had never been done before. By coming together, they've created something that's truly unique. So you, you have this, uh, this collection of really interesting people uh, who, uh, who are performers, authors, writers, uh, all in, uh, and visual artists, uh, all in one space, um, exchanging thoughts and ideas with each other. And the energy in the room just got higher and higher until by the time we finished, you know, people were, were just roaring. And, and as a performer, you love that. Friends, if everywhere in the world, just for a moment, people would gather like this and listen to the music and be inspired. It feels like you know that you're performing for an audience that is with you all the way. Another thing that I like is I think that the whole idea of bleeding edge technology and art is very compelling for me. The technology that they, that Beachwood provided was very cutting edge. To be walking around with these music stands that have got, you know, iPads on them where we're communicating with people in other parts of the world, that was quite amazing to me. It was just this whole immersion that, you know, was just like no, nobody else had done that. One of, the, one of the overwhelming feelings that I've had when I've been here has been the amazing amount of effort that it must take to put one of these things together. The amount of moving parts is extraordinary um, and the amount of detail that goes into really every moment of the experience is it, really extraordinary. Well, yeah, you could, the alternative is to go into Manhattan for a week. You go to the theater, you go to a couple restaurants, you go to a couple of galleries, art museums, you hear a famous musician at Carnegie Hall. Or you can come to Beechwood for three hours on a Sunday and do it all. So I'd come to this town which I knew nothing about from a different coast and I was invited to come to Beechwood Arts by somebody who come before and at the end of the evening I actually wept because I told them it felt like home and I'm gonna cry when I say it now but it felt like a community I felt like I found my people I'd found home I could be here because of this place